Hello, hello, friends. Welcome in. How are you doing? How is your Saturday going? Or Sunday? Just depending. Uh, let's see. Nothing is connected. Good. Starting off strong. Give me one second while I get everything plugged in. Enjoy this super chill Smash remix. I'm loving it. This boop, that boop is working, but what about this other boop that is working? Okay. Alrighty, now we're ready, everybody. <laughs> All right, and let's go ahead and move things over. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome in. I need to adjust this, first of all. My camera's moved a little, a teensy bit since I used it in the shoot yesterday. And there we go. Hold on. Boop. So likely some of the settings kind of tweaked. That's better. But hello, welcome in Austin. You are first. Um, uh, <laughs> I will forgive you for not streaming those past two days. Well, I'm not sorry. So, <laughs> so forgiveness denied. Uh, Crispy, hello, how are you? How's it going? Uh, Secret Life, hello! How is your weekend going, everybody? Moving some houses in AC, nice. I hope your Saturday's going well so far. It is! I, I slept in just a teensy bit. Um, and I think that was for the better. I think that was for the better, but otherwise, Things been going pretty good. How about you? My glasses are a little fogged up and won't not fog. I think I took my uh well it's fine. It's fine. I think my my little cloth is in the other room, but that's fine. Um but how are you guys doing? Um yeah, so one Today, welcome to the Jet Lounge, but two, um, we are going to be playing Ace Attorney. Uh, I think we will be able to finish this case. I think from what I heard, this case doesn't go on as long as like the, the last ones from the um, previous game did. So I think we're like, maybe, I think we only have one more day to do. But who knows how long like the day will actually be <laughs> so there could be a lot more this could just be um could just take up the whole thing if we end up ending early like if if we finish the case and it's like okay there's still a lot of time left and we still want to keep going we might go ahead and switch over to animal crossing for a little bit um throughout the week i've pretty much been um just kind of tweaking, doing some small, like, tweaks to the island. Um, really, the biggest thing is every day making sure that I remove, um, like, steps or, like, uh, inclines or bridges. So that way I can then terraform. Um, I already have where I think most of the bridges are going to go, like, where I'm moving them to. Um, <laughs> some of this, I will say, it's sort of like, it's at a point where I'm like, does this look better? <laughs> I'm not quite sure, so we'll see. If it looks bad, hey, we can just redo it. We can just redo it, everybody. It's fine. Um, but 
Anyways, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Um, the giveaway is still continuing. Um, thank you, Nightbot. Um, we, for those that don't know, we are giving away two DLCs of Animal Crossing. Um, the way you enter is by either uh, subscribing yourself or uh, gifting a sub. Um, remember, if you have Amazon Prime, that you get a free sub a month. And so, if you're if you're trying to win this Animal Crossing DLC, now might be the time to use it. Uh, we will be drawing a winner on Friday. Um, we have a special stream on Friday, and so uh, that it'll be a jet wave, and we will be uh, doing the drawing at the beginning. Um, we'll be drawing for two, unless we get to 100 subs, and then in that case we will will draw a third. Um, I don't foresee us going higher than that, um, so it'll most likely be three at max. Um, but hey, I could be surprised. I could be surprised. Um, but besides that, um, yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. <laughs> how is your weekends going? How how are how are how are your things? Um, I went and got groceries the other day. Um, and I have a little surprise snack for us, um, for later, um, probably when we start the game, or maybe right before we start the game, we'll see. Um, but besides that, that's pretty much what's been going on. Um, let me see here. Uh, I've been, yesterday I really didn't do too much. Um, I was super tired both Friday and uh, Thursday and Friday. Thursday night and Friday. Um, but yeah, Friday I didn't do um, much of anything. Um, I did play like a little bit of Animal Crossing, but I just moved over. I, I got rid of a, an incline and then uh, played a little bit of Borderlands 3 later. Um, but I mostly had like a headache and... I just felt like super, super, super tired um, uh, <laughs> during during the day. Like, like at Thursday night, I could barely keep my eyes open. Um, uh, Friday was kind of the same thing. I was just like all day long. I was just super, super tired. Um, got the new Dark Pictures game. Uh, nice. Very cool. Uh, my weekend's been off to a good start. Today was nice getting into Minecraft modding again and went okay until I completely messed up my workspace. So unless I can fix that, I might have to start, start over. Not much done, so not a big deal if I have to. Dang, I don't even know what the, like, how do you even, I don't even know the first step to that. Um, <laughs> to be fair, I, I have not played a lot of Minecraft either, so, um, it's... <laughs> it, so I, I wouldn't know. I bear, I couldn't, at this point, I could not tell you what the recipe is to create, like, a chest. That's how much Minecraft I have played. <laughs> um, but that's awesome. Well, I hope your work, workspace uh, gets fixed and that you're able to, to continue modding. Um, because uh, it's fun. I made a mod a couple years ago. Nice. That's awesome. That's super cool. Um, I've watched uh, War Never Changes has used to play a lot of Minecraft, and so I, I watched him do some stuff. But um, that's really like, I, and I have played. Um, actually, have played with War a couple of times, and then I had a I had a friend that bought me a copy on console, and we we played also just a couple of times. But um, it wasn't like enough for me to like learn anything, you know. And, uh, and it was all brand new to me. So, like, <laughs> I, uh, basically every time I played, I just tried to make myself a little home. That's sort of all I did. Um, <laughs> whether it was in, in, inside the, the, inside of, of a mountain, the side of a mountain, or just in the hole in the ground. And then basically I avoided most combat, um, <laughs> as best I could. Um, I just tried to, anytime it got to nighttime, because I didn't really know how to craft armor, I would just make myself a little box <laughs> to just stay in while the night was going. Um, 
Oh. It's fairly well received. Got like 20,000 plus downloads, if I remember correctly. So I feel like I could do something decent again. I've got my hopes up. Hey, that sounds great, Crispy. You should go for it. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Um, what did it do? Do you remember? Like, what was the mod? I'm curious. My coffee's pretty good today. I feel like it could be sweeter. But it's probably a good, like, it's it's probably at a good spot right now. <laughs> if it's It's probably, it'd be worse if it was oversweet, I think. Um, yeah, I've never done any kind of like modding or anything really. And honestly, I haven't had, I haven't really downloaded any mods for any games, uh, probably for a super long time. Cause I, I don't really have anything that like Skyrim, you can download like official mods. Um, that's kind of it because I don't really game on my computer or anything. Uh, it was a simple collection items mod made uh, small sized figure plushy models of most creatures that you can find in chests. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. I love that. Um, wait, Crispy, I can't remember. Are you getting the DLC for Animal Crossing? I feel like someone said that they weren't, but I can't remember if that was you, if that was somebody else. Maybe. Okay, I think that, okay, 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 then maybe I'm right. <laughs> it was me. All right. Um, <laughs> funny. I was, I was like, I can't remember if, but I might just get in the end. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um... I'm super excited, and I've been trying not to think about it because I know that if I if I do think about it too much, I'll just get sad that it's not here. So I've just been sort of, um, sort of just been like not <laughs> thinking about it as much as I can. Just focused on my island. Um. Let's see, Austin, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're responding to. Um, but what else? Has anything else been going on? I'm trying to think if... I mean, really, honestly, yesterday I feel like I mostly slept because I was so tired uh, that I didn't really do anything. <laughs> I didn't really... I didn't really go about doing anything. Um, so I feel like I don't really have much to to mention. Didn't even really play much of anything. The Twitch app? Okay. <laughs> nice lazy day then. Yes. It Well, and it was much needed for sure. Um, <laughs> it was much, much needed. Um, well... It's kind of a slow day today so far, um, and so we're gonna just hop into the game, why not? <laughs> I am totally good about doing that. Um, so let us do, uh, a let us do. Maybe if we finish this, maybe we can chat a bit more after the fact. We'll see. We'll see how how people are feeling. Okay. So we are... Swap on over. We are in the... Ooh, stop that. And boop. Boop. Okay. Uh, we are on part three. Usually it says like, oh, like, okay, okay, okay. We're starting part three. I think that's right. We stopped when it said, um, uh, like, to be continued. So I think we're on, like, the final day, maybe. 
of this case. For those that don't remember, um, or did we stop? Why did we stop here? What just happened? Why she said? <laughs> For those that don't remember, um, we are on a case where, um, <sighs> there was a a doctor who. Wait, what happened? Gilmore! <laughs> Hello. Did you hear about the new restaurant called Kana? There's no menu. You get what you deserve. That's great. <laughs> Gilmore, how's it going? How are you doing? Um, we are just about to start the game. Sad Pearl is not good Pearl. Indeed. I can't remember why we're here and why she's sad right now. Um, but basically, um, her cousin? Is Maya her cousin? Is that how that works? Or is she an, like, an aunt? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Maya is currently on the stand, um, being accused of murder. Isn't she her older sister? I believe she is, uh... I don't think so. I think she said she called her her niece, I believe. I could be wrong. I think she said she was her niece. Um. So, because I think Pearl is not of the like, the bloodline. The like, she's not a part of the the real bloodline. Tired, battling a cold, might take a nap playing Animal Crossing right now. I feel that. I feel that. I was, I wasn't sick yesterday, but I felt like it, if that makes sense. Like, the tiredness that I felt was very much like that. Um, getting your island ready? I've been playing a little bit each day, sort of, um, uh, like, removing inclines and all that sort of stuff. Um, he's a Dorney. Justice. Um, yeah, I hope you feel better. Um, hope you're getting your island ready for for more um, for the update here in a couple couple weeks. Um, by the way, the snack I forgot to, to mention. Right now, I'm time traveling and getting Halloween candy. Nice. Um, the thing that I forgot to mention that uh, I got at the store this past week because we were talking about it. Whoa, bam! <laughs> I got some peeps. For those that don't know, I got some Halloween peeps because they were on sale. Um, we had talked about it, and a few people that had never didn't know what we were talking about. And I felt like if I was going to ever buy peeps, now would be the time. So for. For people who have never seen this, this candy is going to go everywhere. These like sprinkle things. This is, this is like essentially a peep. It's like a, just a. This is a marshmallow pumpkin. I looked for some. I didn't find any. Oh no. Um. So it's a little derpy, but you can kind of see the consistency of this is like, it's super like, stretchy and and gooey and. It's mostly. Just sugar. It doesn't even taste like anything. I thought they might do like some kind of pumpkin flavoring for this. No. They must be like the Peep Company must be just like rolling in dough. Like they don't really innovate. It's not like they're like, man, we really got to come with some new followers. Or new followers, new flavors. <clears throat> for for the new line this year. Really need to, like, change things up. No, it's, it's always the same. Speaking of AC, I have abandoned my original Skyrim plan. Making a purple villagers only island now. I kind of feel bad because I got just hopes up. Oh, you don't have to. I don't feel bad at all. 
Or I don't feel like my hopes have been dashed. It was a cool idea, but I'm interested to see what you do here. I'm curious... <clears throat> um... Curious what... I can think of the frog... Uh... Diva? I think that's a purple... I think it's a purple frog. I'm trying to think of purple ones off the top of my head. But I cannot. We're having another one. This one's a little bit more derpy. Um... That's okay. <laughs> I am not taking Eva. <laughs> Do you have a few on your mind? By the way, Gilmore, I have not watched the first episode of Critical Role yet. What did you think? Good? Enjoyable? Usually my plan is, um, I can give you the list if you want. Yeah, tell us. Um, usually what I had done in the past is I would get Moose's Tooth. Um, and I would, I would get Moose's Tooth on a Friday, start the episode, like, while I ate it. And then, uh, because Moose's Tooth usually lasts me a couple of days. Every time I would eat Moose's Tooth, I would sit down and watch, like, an hour-ish of, of an episode. Um, but, one, my battery is still dead, <clears throat> so I can't leave <laughs> to go pick up Moose's Tooth. So that's a problem. <clears throat> and then I just haven't had time. But, um, let's see, I liked it. Very uh, into the characters. Wait. But it was fun. Very... Oh, like a, like a, like a, the intro, we don't know much about the characters, right? Is that what you're kind of saying? It's like, is they focus on just sort of introducing everybody. Supposedly, I think, well, so I had everything sort of spoiled for me on Twitter, um, as is custom, uh, as is custom. And so, uh, supposedly the characters that Liam and, um... Ashley are playing are the, their characters from the EXU series as well. Um, let's see. Oh, Static is purple. You're right. Uh, Sydney, Static, Queenie, Muffy, Lobo, Bob. Oh, Bob is great. Megan, Becky, Kid, and the other new villager, Quinn. That's right. The she's like an eagle, I think. Some kind of taller bird. Um. But, um, yeah, I, uh, she is an eagle. That's right. Okay. Uh, well, that's awesome. You'll have to let us know. Yeah, apparently I didn't watch that, so they're still new to me. Yeah, and I guess they had said that you don't have to know any, like, you, you don't, you don't have to have previously watched TXU, I guess, to, for this, but we'll see. Um, what was I going to say? Um... Anyway, yeah, I'll probably, I, I might try to watch it, or at least start it this weekend. It <laughs> it doesn't feel the same not having Moose's Tooth, I'll be honest. And it was funny because um, on Thursday, I went to go film something uh, for work. And um, we were talking about food, naturally. And... They know that my car, uh, they had to pick me up, so they know that my car battery isn't working. And as we were talking, they were like, oh, wait, what are you, because your car's dead, what are you doing? Like, how, how are you getting Moose's Tooth? I'm like, I haven't been. I'm not getting Moose's Tooth. That's the problem. <laughs> um, so, say lovey. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll order just some random pizza from some place and see if it's the same. But I doubt it will be. I doubt it will be. Um, I'm excited, though. I, a new campaign will be great. It'll get me hyped to maybe do some mini painting soon, probably. Um, 
But yeah, I want to see the new set. I've been hearing great things. Um, typically... When, like, a new episode is aired, especially if I think there's going to be something big, I would, like, avoid Twitter. Um, uh, like, I just wouldn't get on it because I know that people will immediately be posting fan art or cosplays or whatever of whatever happened in the previous episode. And I... Uh, however, but this past week I have been, I have to be on Twitter because I've been trying to follow, um, Amiibo, like, I've already seen art on Instagram. Yeah, I saw somebody do a cosplay already of one of the new characters. I think it was Talison's character. And I was like, what? <laughs> what is happening? Bot, welcome in. How's it going? I was like, what? H how? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Everyone, just calm down. Um, <laughs> but, uh, what was I going to say? I lost it. Oh, no, but I've been watching. Okay, so I've been trying to keep up with... Amiibo restocks and one, I need to keep my phone out just in case if I get a notification that it gets, I doubt it. I feel like most things like this do not get restocked on the weekends. I feel like it's usually a weekday thing, but I'm still going to watch anyways. Unfortunately, ever since I have been actively like looking for these things, um, and, like, signed up for, like, notifications. Um, they have not restocked them <laughs> on any website. So I've been like, cool. I started this a day too late, I think. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to get a hold of some some packs of cards so that we can open them on, on stream. I would love that. If not, I hope, well, one, I think by the beginning of November, I feel like before November 5th, I should be able to get my battery replaced um and if that's the case i for sure i'm gonna try to go to the store uh friday morning when they were like when when they open up see if i can get a hold of some anyway um so let's go ahead and, and jump on in um the case that's happening is uh so this is pearl right here um, Maya, who's our assistant, um, is, like, Pearl's aunt? I, I really don't know. I think that's technically what she is. She's, like, her aunt. Um, related through, like, they're not, like, direct bloodline. But anyway, um, Maya was doing, like, some kind of seance type thing. Um, and the person that she was trying to, like, contact, who, like, takes over her body um killed the uh, the only other person in the room with a gun so we open the door we were there we like bust open the door and we find Maya standing there holding a gun um and so it's kind of like a seems pretty open and shut um however um uh we're there's like some discrepancy as to were they actually alone? Was that actually Maya? Uh, whenever Maya like summons somebody, she actually like takes their appearance. And so it could have been somebody else entirely just dressed up as Maya. Um, a lot going on. We're on like day two or three and, uh, we, I think at this point, we suspect that there was somebody inside of, um, the room hiding, I think. I think that's kind of what we're, we're thinking at this point. Yes, because one of the things was whenever Maya, um, does a seance thing, um, she's like, her mind is taken somewhere else. 
she recalls dreaming in her in her testimony, which whenever they do like a channeling, that's what it's called. Whenever they do a channeling, um, they cannot dream. It would be impossible for her to dream. So she's probably like knocked out or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I can't remember. Pearl's alibi. Um. I honestly can't remember what we were just doing. Oh, look at that little bat. It's kind of adorable. So wait, in Maya's testimony, she claims that her body was taken over something. So, um, so when she channels, she does not have control of her body at all. Um, and so, but she, she kind of feels like she did kill the person because she was like, well, it was my body. However, I wasn't in control of it. Um, however, we have we are kind of arguing arguing the fact that she was probably not even channeling at all. Um, that she may have been knocked out or something. Um, Maya's going to the mental asylum, isn't she? she <laughs> it is. I mean, like it's a pretty like rough case to be like no it wasn't me it was the thing it was the person i was cha channeling it seems like it's a very like sure it was um <laughs> sure that sounds <laughs> it's it's very like i don't know very circumstantial very suspicious very suspicious okay let's see this i can't remember you really want to tell me what you were doing at the time of the murder Oh, I think that's where we... I'm sorry. But with the Magatama, I can unlock your psyche locks, right? Yes. Uh, what should I do? Should I tell you what my secret is? If you would tell, if you just tell me, it'd be easier for the both of us. Can't I... Where, where do I present these things? I'm so nervous. Uh, Pearls is holding the key to this whole case. I can feel it. Speaking of keys, this one turned out to be quite important, too. I didn't think it would literally be the key to today's trial, though. So do I need to go via... Present? Um... I think I was trying to figure out what I needed to do. So those were the new... Okay, let's move elsewhere. Okay, nothing new here. This is where it took place. Can I ask her about this? Okay, no. Move. Let's go this way. She doesn't know anything about that. Okay. I recall... So, I'm pretty sure she did it. I would bet to say that she's the killer. <laughs> Nothing new here. Let's go back to... Maybe the... Emmers! Oh! Wait, are you... Hanging out with Secret. Are you guys having your... Your dinner? Not... Or... Lunch? Are you guys hanging out? Uh, this case is unusual. The defense claims to have been possessed during the murder. A potential witness is holding back information. And the weird lakeside southern woman is here too. I don't like her. That's true. It is a very weird case overall. For sure. That's awesome. That's awesome. Make sure, take a picture. Maybe post in Discord if you guys want. Okay, where am I supposed to go? It must be... I mean, I feel like I'm supposed to be talking to Pearl, but she's not... She's not being very cooperative. Oh! Is this how I'm supposed to do that? Oh! I see. I see. I thought... I've been trying to go via the, like, talk menu. Our, apparently, our significant other... Our twins separated at 
birth. Oh, really? <laughs> Are they very similar? That's amazing. Are you guys having French onion soup? Pearl's alibi. Pearl. You have to tell me what you were doing when the murder happened, okay? Um, but what if I can't tell you what happened? Then I guess I'll guess what happened. How's that sound? What? You can do that? You'll tell me if I guess something right, won't you? Y yes Now, when the murder was taking place, you were here, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, let me save. Um... Let's see. Uh... They are having too much fun together. They are also driving us around. Hilarious. Scary similar. In what way? <laughs> that is hilarious. Internet people hang out in person. What? Tank, welcome in. People who met in the internet, no less. Yeah. Pearl is the murderer. You were here <laughs> in the channeling chamber killing the person. I think she was here. You were here, weren't you, Pearls? In the winding way. What? Wow! You got it. So, do you think you can tell me now? I'm sorry, not yet. Man, oh man. All right, what next? Okay, I think I know what you were doing there. D do you really know that much? Well, I am a lawyer, you know. Now, what was it Pearl was doing in the winding way? I think she was playing with the ball, and she broke the urn. <laughs> yeah! You were playing with this ball, right? Ah, that's right. How... How did you know? Take that, Locke. Uh, Maya told me that you love to play with your ball. Um, yeah, I was playing with my ball. Uh-huh, and then what? Something happened, huh? Something really bad. Gulp! Well, what do you mean, something, n n nothing happened? This is it. While you were playing with your ball, this happened. Ha-ha, <laughs> got you. This urn, it's a village treasure, right? Ah, um... And the spirit of the founder of the Kurain Technique is sealed in here, isn't it? Y yes. Uh, what's this? It's cracked all over, isn't it? There's even a few gaps here and there. Um, please don't tease me. Pearl, you broke the sacred urn, didn't you? The ball smacked into it and knocked it over, right? And if Morgan found out, she'd get real mad, huh? She doesn't seem to be fighting back. I think it's... I think I hit the bullseye this time. But it's strange that the lock hasn't broken yet. It's... It's a really old urn, isn't it? I guess? It's so old... So it's not that weird to have a few cracks. Her voice is shaking. How can you tell that urn has been broken? Um... I mean... <laughs> what? <laughs> um, let's see. <clears throat> uh, things are going well, Tank. Things are going well. Uh, I'm doing better. I'm not super sleepy. Um, I hope they're conspiring to give you more AC wealth. Hilarious. Uh, oh, yeah, I was. There for sure. Definitely not in the channeling chamber. I was most definitely not killing a person. Wow, right? You're so smart. I know. What if she was? Um... <laughs> Sorry, both of your mods are out of commission. No, no, no. Enjoy yourselves. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to. Oh, because it's Amy, right? It's not Mia. It's we don't have a. Aha. <clears throat> I think this. Okay. Uh, who started the Kurain channeling technique? Huh? Oh, um, it was Mystic Amy. That's right. And how do you spell her name? Do you know? How do I spell her name? Um, I don't know. It's spelled A-M-I. Gasp! I thought it was a little odd when I saw I am written on this urn. And that's how I knew that someone must have broken this urn. And made a mistake in spelling when they put it back together again. Pearl, you're going to jail. <laughs> uh, unlock success successful. Nice. 
We're throwing you into the slammer. Good luck. <laughs> All right, her alibi. Around when Mystic Maya started the channeling on that day, I was playing in the winding way with my ball. And that's when and that's when you broke the urn? Yes, I broke it. I accidentally let Mystic Amy's spirit fly away. Don't worry. Morgan will never know, okay? I'm a bad child. Breaking a village treasure is unforgivable. I thought that maybe they would make me leave the village. But the broken pieces were pretty big, so... You thought you could put them back together and no one would notice? Yes. I found some glue... By the way, her alibi is like... It does not matter. <laughs> I feel like. I found some glue and... <laughs> I mean, maybe she'll have a key piece of evidence here. I should move my camera above the name. Maybe she'll have some key piece of evidence, but I feel like... Overall, it does not matter. Found some glue and brought it to the hallway. And fix the urn there. The hallway? You mean the winding way? Yeah. Uh, the channeling had already started, so I didn't think anyone would walk by. Hmm, I see. So about how long did it take you? It must have been a nasty repair job. Thank you, Gilmore. Um, actually, breaking an artifact might just land her in jail, so maybe she wasn't a murderer, but she is a criminal. I was somewhat correct. I th You are correct. And thanks, Austin. Uh, yes, I might be strong at spiritual things, but when it comes to arts and crafts, I'm not nearly as skilled. When I had finished fixing the urn and looked up, I saw you coming into the manor. So that's around the time when Lada and I were coming back inside after reporting the murder. When I saw that, I packed everything up in a hurry. Um, Mr. Nick? What is it, Pearls? I'm... I'm going to get banished, aren't I? You are. Lurk it! Welcome in! <laughs> oh, look at that little... Little... Cat? Watermelon? Cat? I like it. <laughs> I like it. How are you, Lurket? How are things? Um, I'm going to get banished, aren't I? I really don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I bet Mr. Gamey's happy to be free from that cramped urn. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. No harm done, and a happy resolution. Phew! I mean, I don't think he technically has the, like, authority to say that. <laughs> but, I mean, more power to you, Phoenix, right? Look, I have no connection to this village, or your practices, but I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm alive, so that's good. <laughs> Is everything okay? Um, I, I am. I thought I I thought I switched the category. Maybe I didn't hit done. I just hit done. Maybe I just typed it in and then just didn't. It should refresh soon. Um. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Sacred Urn updated in the court record. Broken by Pearl right before the murder, under repair in the hallway until police came. So we know she didn't kill anybody. Good job. Okay, did she have a thing? She does. Let's revisit what this was. Um, about the accident. What are we supposed to show her? Like, you're totally not gonna give up, are you? No, I'm not. I totally want to forget about my sister, you know? Time to move on and all that? Guess I have no choice but to remove those locks. But I can't remember what the context... Uh... We found the clothing box. We have the newspaper. But we've already shown her that, I think. Um, maybe it's because of my mobile... Oh, maybe. Um, I'm still not ruling out the possibility of Pearl being the murderer. I mean, maybe. It's all red herring. Do we have anything else? Oh. Maybe we show her this? That might be what we do. Hold on. Let's save. In case I mess this up. <laughs> in case this is not what I'm supposed to do. Uh, okay, traffic accident. 
please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, oh yeah. So, like, that Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep? And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Interesting. Eni just asked whose accident, which means she must know something about another person's accident. All right, let's change the topic. Interesting. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like you got someone in mind? Does she know? Maybe, but maybe she knows about. This is about the car accident. She doesn't know about, like... Not it, okay. Oh, a car accident. Did they say car accident at first? I may have missed that. I, for a second, I thought maybe... Oh, I, need also, I, I adjust my camera, and so I'm also now, like, kind of off to the side. Boop, boop. Let's move me right there. That's probably about right. Um... Huh. Oh! Person. Okay, so that helps. Okay. So. Who else had an accident? Uh, this was her sister. Died in a car accident. Maybe we don't know. Hmm. I guess let's... Yeah. I'm not really sure... If I know. Or maybe I should know, but I have forgotten since it's been a week. <laughs> also possible. Something new? Phew. I think I found out everything I can. But I can't see how it all adds up. Hmm. Heh. And, and is Eeny Miney being here just a coincidence? Hey, mister. How is it that the spirit Dr. Gray wanted to call just happened to be that nurse? And that nurse turns out to be Eeny's sister. It's too convenient. Hey, Phoenix, I'm talking to you. I wish I knew a little more about Eni, but where am I going to find more info like that? There we go. Oh, I get it. You can't be bothered to look over it. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can't be bothered to look over at trash like me. Is that is that it, Mr. High and Mighty? Ah, L Lotta. Oh, so you finally noticed. I thought I heard a mosquito buzzing in my ear, although I couldn't understand a word. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You sure know how to chase down garbage. I mean, I'm grateful to you for chasing this large lump of, of one around like this. Um, thanks? But you know, you're just wasting your time. I'll be fine on my own. What, what are you going on about? And as for following or chasing whatever it is, isn't that what you're doing? Um, well, you see... Well, you're not exactly a real gentleman with a lady's heart, are you? You're not exactly the world's number one charmer either, sister. <laughs> Sheesh! Look, I'm, I'm real dang sorry about today. When I get all fired up about something, it's impossible to stop me. You hurt Maya really badly, Lotta. Um, I don't suppose you could forgive a gal like me. Don't forgive her. Yeah, I will forgive you. Well, I guess I can. You did help Maya out, too, after all. For real? Yeah, for real. Ah, uh, thank goodness. I'm still... I'm still... What? No, 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 nothing, nothing at all. Just talking to myself, you know, gibberish. 
Now then, lot of heart at your service. I'll share with you all the dirt I've dug up. Th thanks. Hey, don't be all surprised. Tell you what, I'll even give you all this info for free. Lotta not taking money? Now I know this one's an alien clone. Um, <clears throat> I remember nothing, so I'm a blank slate. Nice. Um, if Maya's not the real murderer, then... Who do you think it is, Lotta? Well, heck, ain't it obvious? It's that occult freak. You mean, eeny miny? Well, there ain't anyone, there ain't anyone else it could be, right? That granny, you and me, we were all together that whole time. So Lotta suspects Eni, which means she might have already found some info about our mysterious Eni. Um, so what is this evidence? <laughs> okay, she doesn't know anything about that. What does she know? About this clipping. Now you listen here, boy, and you listen good. You can't go looking at such an old piece of paper, you hear? People's got eyes on the front side, you know why? So they can see in front of themselves, not behind. So how about it? You feeling my energy? Nope, not an electron. What does that mean? Okay, uh... Okay. Doesn't know anything about that. You think I could have the guts to carry one of these around? A celebrity photographer with a gun? You think it'd work? Bang, bang! Nah. Thanks, but nah. I can't see myself like that. That's fair. Ah! Th there's blood on it! Get that away from me! Where do you... Where do you get off showing me something like this? Oops, guess that was the wrong thing to show her. Oh, okay, yeah, there's also blood on that. Makes sense. I'm a real natural, aren't I? I caught the murder just right and even managed to make it mysterious. Mysterious? All you managed to do was forget to focus your lens. Shut up! That's my technique! My technique now, you hear? Okay, yep, 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 same. Okay. Does know anything about the urn? Hey, it's that Dr. Gray guy. It's a pity what happened to him. It's pretty scary what ghouls and ghosts can do to a man, huh? God rest his poor soul. Hmm, since when was Lotta so religious? Now this kid, I think she needs to be taught some manners. This here's her second time in the stew, right? My pa would have slapped me straight. Y yeah, y you know what they say. If there's a second time, there's bound to be a third and a fourth. Uh, ow! <laughs> you didn't have to slap me. I get it. I get it. Sorry. Okay, she doesn't know Maya or Mia. I swear I've seen his face before. Maybe during that last case? Whenever something happens, this detective's guy always there. I wonder if he's the real baddie behind everything. Somehow, I highly doubt that. Hmm, I overlooked this little kid. What, what do you mean? I mean, I didn't think it, but you know how it's always M silent types. Huh? huh? Wait, 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 wait. Little tack's nothing but a ball of happy goodness, right? So I reckon she's the type to have done it. Well, now that's just how the world turns. I don't think this has anything to do with how the world turns. Uh, that old lady sure can be forceful. She scared me that day. Well, only a little now, you hear? Heh. <laughs> That's Eeny Miney, right? Yeah. I was wondering if you know anything about this girl. You know, actually, I did a little checking up on her the other day. Her sister, she's the one that Dr. Gray wanted to call back from the spirit world. Yeah, I had heard as much. I also had heard that Eni was the one who introduced Dr. Gray to Kurain Village. You don't say. That's one sneaky gal if you ask me. Hey, you want me to tell you more about her? Yes. Wait, did we slap her? I think we did, but I, I imagine it's more of like a little slap than it is like a fwapa, you know, like a, a face slap. It's probably more of just like a slap on the shoulder, something like that. It's probably what I imagine. I imagine. Um... Hey, you want me to tell you more about her? 
Uh, I, I do. There we go. Speak of Eni, do you have any other information about her? Sure. Well, what is it? <laughs> it'll cost you, and it'll cost a lot. Oh, silly me. Here I thought free meant no money necessary. That girl was hospitalized about half a year ago. Hospitalized? But why? Well, heck, you can go find out on your own. Huh? Here, I'll give you the clinic's address. Maybe you can find out something. Maybe? What's that supposed to mean? Well, see, actually, it was going to be annoying, I reckon, so I didn't actually go there. <laughs> <laughs> the bl the blood the blood <laughs> this is <laughs> seems very apt for for a murder oh look strawberry jam you ain't wrong <laughs> probably that's it's very it looks like a very thick liquid like a very thick liquid uh, <laughs> um Okay. Well, that's the way the gumbo spoils, right? Spoiled gumbo sounds... Ugh. I mean, look, don't blame this on... Oh, never mind. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Better go check out this hottie clinic. Let's go. June 21st, the Hottie Clinic clinic reception. So this is where Eni was hospitalized. Uh, hey, what you munching on? Uh, we were talking about peeps the other day because a lot of people didn't know what they were. So I got some, some, uh, some pumpkin peeps. They don't taste like pumpkin. It looks like if he was a bandit in a Home Alone movie, if it was made by Netflix. Yeah, it. <laughs> okay, he's missing teeth. He's itching a lot. So Doc, <laughs> you seem trustworthy. Hmm, yes. Are you here to visit a patient, hmm? Ah, uh, yes. Are you a doctor here? Hmm, yes. I'm Do Director Hottie. Ho oh ho! Ah, I didn't think I'd be speaking with the director himself. Hmm, yes. So what can I help you with, uh-huh? I'd like to ask you a few questions about Mrs. Eeny Miney. Hmm, Mrs. Miney? Mrs. Eeny Miney? Hmm, yes. Hmm. Oh, her! Ah, it's too bad. I'll tell you something. That girl left here a long time ago. Here you are, sir. You know you shouldn't be up and about. Come on, it's back to your room with you. Ah, sweetums, calm down, calm down. Don't be so harsh to an old man like me. Don't you dare start that sweetums thing with me. If you don't behave, you'll be you'll get yourself tossed out of this hospital. Wow, I didn't think this I didn't think nurses could be this direct or forceful towards their boss. Come now, be a good boy and give me the director's white lab coat. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Hmm, yes. Um, yes? Don't hmm, yes me. Who in the world are you? I'm Director Hottie. Ho oh. ho! The nurse went off somewhere. Oh, the inhumanity. Only person I can talk to. Is this guy, um. <laughs> uh. I don't know, but prescribe me. Yeah, uh, the peep hate is undeserved. People just be uncultured. I, I, I don't like. I used to love peach. Uh, peep, peach. I used to love peeps, but um, I had them like too often. Like I think like having them every year was just a lot for me. So eventually, I just stopped having them. They're very sweet. They're very sweet. The only reason why I got this is because people were talking about it. And 
it's like a small carton versus like the taller ones where there's like twice as many. So I was like, cool, I'm not going to eat through all like all of that. Oh, that's cool, Austin. Very nice. Um, let's see. So what exactly do you treat at this clinic? Hmm, yes, we treat all sorts of doctory clinical stuff. Uh-huh, yes. Doctory clinical stuff. Well, I don't actually know or particularly care about the details. Oh, ho ho! Hmm, hmm, yes. What is it look that you're looking for? Uh, y yes, there's a really big general hospital around the corner. Hmm, yes. When they can't accommodate everyone, they move some of their patients here. Uh-huh. You do surgeries here, right? Hmm, yes. We do some plastic surgery here, it seems. Hmm. It seems plastic surgery. Interesting. Hmm, yes. It seems that way. What do you know about Mrs. Eeny Miney? Now you're talking. Hmm, yes. That girl, she was transferred from the general hospital. From the general hospital to here? What kind of surgery did she need? Hmm, yes, well, she needed surgery. It was really bad. Really bad. So what kind was it? Hmm, yes, well, no, no. You see, that that is something. No, I can't tell you. So you say with a happy, so you say with a happy smile on your face, Mr. Director. See, there's this thing about how doctors aren't allowed to talk about patient stuff. It's in all those TV shows too, right? You've seen them, right? Hmm, yes? I'm never going to get him to unzip those broken zipper teeth of his at this rate. Yeesh, Phoenix. Um, there's got to be something I can show to this old coot. Hmm, Miss Eeny is really cute in this picture. You'd agree, right? Y yeah, sure. I wish I could see her again. Maybe the next time she has a big accident. Hmm, yes. I'll tell her for you. Hmm, yes, please. Hmm, I'll be waiting for her. Hmm, yes, waiting. Can't wait. She had an accident? Um. Uh, they are soft, fluffy, sugar dipped in tiny hard sugar. Sweet is what they do, I know. I wish they just had more flavor or something than just this is sugar. Why do I feel like this clinic is just a front for a mafia? Because it looks like it. <laughs> because it seems... If this is actually the director, then there's a problem. That sounds like uh, fun to have one bite and save the rest for later. Never even heard of them, though. Actually, that one is true. Patients, uh, privacy is real, so he got that much right. I know, it's true. Hold on, let's see. Um, so what do you know about this? I see this and uh, my mind's blank. Okay, so. What if we show... Now, this is what I'm talking about. Hmm, yes, yeah, nice. This is nice and exciting. What do you think? Does anything grab your attention? There's no mistaking. This is nice. Hmm, yes, I like. Yes, I like this picture. Hmm, yes. Mind if I borrow this for a while for private research purposes? Um, that's okay. I don't think I should support his research. Um. Okay, it's the same thing. Whoops. Um. So what do you know about this? Okay, mine's blank. Maybe, maybe we need to be showing him. About this person, hmm. I feel like somewhere, I've seen her before somewhere, hmm, I think, hmm. Well, when she comes tomorrow for a consultation, I'm sure we can get reacquainted. Well, she's dead, uh. Okay, yeah. Ooh, she's nice. I look in her eyes. She looks like a queen. She's glaring at me. Hmm. And her stare is making me choke up in tears. Uh, <laughs> I was whipped by her, and it hurt a lot. Oh, wow. I'm so jealous. Did you cry? How did it feel? I cried a little, I think. I actually can't remember. So we can't, hold on. Can't ask him anything specific. All right, let's just go through all of this. Oops. 
We asked about that. I think I asked about this, but let's just do this anyway. I probably shouldn't give him a gun. be a person then okay I already asked him about Maya uh, isn't she the patient down in room 206 hmm yes I'm sure that cute, cute nurse is taking very good care of her. That nurse said the girl has chicken pox, or was it measles, maybe the flu? And Pearls is fine and well, although I feel sorry for the nurse now. When you ask about this... He mentions a big accident. Is that all we needed to know? Do we go back to Lada now? Oh, we already... Got the feeling of one, and there are sofas lined up. But I don't see all that many patients. Hmm, yes, well, it's the quality, not quantity, that counts, uh huh? What in the world did that have to do with anything? I wonder what that door leads to down there. Oh, that's the x ray room. Hmm, yes? How did you know what I was thinking? Yes, well, it's because that's the x ray room, uh huh, yes? There is something very peculiar about this guy because. Out. Do something in vain and your only reward is tiredness. Okay, so... I showed him every piece of evidence we have. <laughs> and every person, except for himself. Maybe I missed out on that. Okay, no. So... Okay. Oh, maybe... Hmm. Okay, no. Maybe now if I just go and interrogate... Whoops. Let's try it. Um, <laughs> oh no, Tank. Be careful. Traffic accident. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, uh, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Gray guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Interesting. And you just asked whose accident? Which means she must know something about another person's accident. All right, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone on mind? Oh, there we go. I want to ask you about your own car accident. Me? me? Yeah. So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in, like, an accident? I mean, I don't think so. This guy said you were in an accident, but he seems very untrustworthy. <sighs> um, he, uh, Doctor uh, Director Hadi is an accent accident in the making. She might know something about him.
What item? Okay, so that didn't work. Can I prove she was in an accident? I think I know. I don't think I really know what I'm supposed to use to... Prove she was in an accident. If I had, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, if I had maybe records. I had to double check. Um. Oh, well, I'm glad you're okay, Austin. I wish we could just be like, can I talk to someone more competent, please? <laughs> can I speak to one of your nurses? <laughs> You're being unhelpful. Maybe there's another piece of evidence I'm just supposed to show her. <laughs> Maybe that jar doesn't say jam. <clears throat> it says it's supposed to say um, Amy. The girl just. When she was gluing it back together, but didn't put it right. Because she's a child and she did not know how to spell. Um. Yeah, here's, what gonna do. here's what we're gonna do. Let's save. We're just gonna try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say jam. That's an I A M. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's... Okay, wait, what happens if I... 
Let's just present her some stuff that's not... I just want to see if she reacts to anything. Oh, wait. I'm, like, gonna have to write about it in, like, my report for school. Hey, so, like, you'll give me this picture for, like, the report, right? No way. Okay, so that's about the crane technique. Okay, that's what she was asking about. So she responds to the pictures. saved. <clears throat> Let's just see if we can figure it out. And then we'll likely die. Okay, so... Your accident... Well... We mean... Mimi? Yeah, so... Wow, like, how strange. Can you, like, prove I was in an accident? We tried using him. He did not work. I don't like this woman's hair. You don't like the candy apple red Swiss roll hair, dude, Crispy? I know. Shocking? Um. Okay, so that didn't work. Evidence. present him everything again. See if there's anything. Now that he's like mentioned the the accident. Like maybe there's something new. Oops. Fix your workplace uh, workspace, nice. Whoops. Took me like two minutes. <laughs> That's not too bad. Okay.
Okay, so we presented him all of that evidence. Let's see if if any any person will spark. Mentions her accident. Okay. Is there... Oops. She's not in the detention center. I was hoping she would be, and maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I was hoping something would happen. She's being so cryptic when we ask her about the papers. <sighs> okay, whoops. She's gone. Well, I really don't know. Unless I do have what I'm... Her own accident? I don't really have anything of hers, I don't think. Maybe, hold on. Is there anything that I can... I guess this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels important. A mirror-like object with a cloudy reflective surface. Some branches off of a sacred tree have been set in a predetermined arrangement. I guess they're used for channeling. Okay, nothing I can interact with there. It's where the medium sits, I presume. There are four panels on the flooring. The straw in the flooring feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. No matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to the pool of blood in the center here. Thank you. 
I have zero clue what I'm supposed to do right now. I mean, unless... Her accident. Maybe it's how she knows Dr. Gray. Like, maybe that's what it is. It could be it. Okay. I mean, your accident. Okay, but can you prove I was in an accident? Here's your proof. Mm. So not... Whoops. I have no idea. Whoops. I did not mean to hit that. Okay, so this is this. Yes, yes, yes. Yours, but do you have proof? It's not Dr. Gray. It doesn't make sense why M Maya or Mia or, or them. Can't examine these.
Okay. She gets mad when she says that. She says she doesn't want a gun. You can't go looking at such an old piece of paper. People's got eyes on the front side, you know? So they can see in front of themselves, not behind. So... How about it? I do not know. Um... Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a five minute break, or a couple minute break. I'm also gonna look up what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> because I have no idea. Um, but okay, we will be right back. Go to the bathroom, get some water or whatever if you need, and we will be right back. I'll also put on some music for you because I forgot to turn that on now. Alrighty. I am muted, sorry. Um, I'm back, and I figured it out. I had to look it up. And it's, I didn't show him my attorney's badge, which I skipped because no one ever responds to it. So there we go. Um, 
Hmm, what's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now, I'm investigating a murder. Hmm, hmm, yes. What is what is with your angry face? Violence isn't, isn't the answer? Hmm, yes. The trial is tomorrow, and I would really like some information from you. Hmm, is that right? Well, you know, I think I can let you in on a little secret. What's that? Hmm, yes. Actually, I'm not the real director. Are you kidding? Anyone with half a fly's brain knew that. Ah, oh, what do you mean? Do I have to explain this to him? Well, hmm, hold on. I'll give you something. Real information, okay? I'm actually this clinic's... See, I'm I'm like this place's walk, walking dictionpedia. You mean walking encyclopedia? Yeah, yeah, that. And, and my specialty isn't... Oh, gosh. There's nothing I don't know about them, but I get embarrassed talking about it. Yeah. How about you keep that kind of information to yourself? Oh, okay. Uh, you wanted to know a little miss about little Miss Eeny Miney, right? Um, uh, I was, yes. I couldn't figure out how to progress the story or anything. Ended up just being, I needed to show him my attorney's badge. He's the only character that I have not this entire case. Because I said, no one ever responds to it. <laughs> Why would I show him that? Showed him every other piece of evidence. I've shown everybody currently... Every evidence and profile, except for my attorney's badge, to him. And that was the only thing that I was missing. Little Miss Eeny Miney. Uh, that girl. Ah, I remember. Yes, really well. Uh, wait. Oh, now I can go here. Okay. Please tell me what you know. I'll get to that. Trust me, I will. That girl, that's right. She was transferred here from the general hospital. This was, hmm, yes, a year ago. She was one of those emergency cases. Um, what was she ill with? Ill? No, no, no. She was injured, not ill. With my trained eye, I could see it was a huge wound, a huge injury. Her whole body was wrapped around and, and round in bandages, and her arm was in a cast. That sounds pretty severe. Uh, it was an accident. Uh, they're scary. Yes, cars? Hmm, yes. Car? You mean she was in a traffic accident? Yes. Uh, that's what gave her terrible injuries. I swore it was in the papers. Hmm, yeah, I looked it all up. I did. It was terrible. Dare I, I even ask what is wrong with this old guy? <laughs> Just now you mentioned something about a big operation. Are you talking about Miss Eeny's operation? Yes, Miss Eeny. That, uh, that was one heck of an accident. Her whole face was burned like bad toast. It was bad, very bad. Was it really that bad? Uh, it was a good thing that Miss Eeny had a picture of herself. I heard that picture was, um, how they put her face back together. Picture. That girl, see, she had, uh, she had her, she had just gotten her license. So she just happened to have a license photo on her. Hmm. So, see, I got her picture as a way to remember her. Uh, well, more, like, swiped. Um, breach of ethics? <laughs> What, what? A pretty a pretty girl like her? I bet she has lots of photos of herself. Uh, it's a treasure. My treasure. Precious. Uh, what happened to the actual license itself? Who knows? I didn't bother to ask. It probably got burned up along with the car. What if it's, like, not her, but her sister or something? Like, it's not Eeny Miney, but it's actually Mimi. Somehow she survived. And this is, well, we don't know the day of her accident, but what if it was the same day and there is no sister? It's just, I don't know. Um, so you looked up information on Edie's accident. Yep, yep, sure did. I read every paper that covered it at the time. What kind of accident was it? Do you remember? Hold on, I'll go get it, the article for you. You have it? Well, 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 don't get me wrong. I thought something like this might come up, so. Obsessive to the max, but I bet I could learn about how to stay on a lead from this guy. Uh, here we go, here we go. Hmm, yes. According to Miss, uh, according to this, Miss Eeny was in the passenger seat. The passenger seat, huh? And dozing, or so it says. A strong jolt woke her up, and the next minute, a sea of fire was all around her. Miss Eeny fought with the door, finally got it open, and somehow managed to get away. Anywho, you can read all the details in this article. Okay. Uh, a new clue! I should probably look this over. It's been half a year since e Miss Eeny had her surgery and got better. She was discharged sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year? Hmm, yes. So how was I? I was a real help, wasn't I? Uh, thank you very much. Well then, I'll get back to my own room then. Tell Miss Eeny I said hi, okay? It's time for me to leave. Hmm, yes. Okay, it's definitely time for me to leave. Um. Uh. Hold on. 
Okay, now I can read this. Uh, let's see. Highway of Nightmares, May 24th, late last night. Uh, two women's car, two women's car crashed uh, into a highway center divide. One of the women was not able to escape the flaming wreckage and died at the site. Ongoing investigation has revealed that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. Um, Ms. Missini Miney holds an interview about crash. I was like totally tired and I dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep, but I opened the right door and like got out. I don't like remember anything else. The Missini Miney is to be believed. The one driving the car was her sister Mimi Miney. Mimi Miney was a nurse at Gray Surgical Clinic where 14 patients were accidentally overdosed to their death. Is this then just a mere coincidence? Um, so it is the same. Wait, so they were in the same accident. Is that right? It seems that way. Um, hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah, I found out a few things, I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Ah, oh, yeah, so earlier, that old granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the police? She said she had something to tell him. Things are sure sure getting interesting. Uh, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure got her bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. It's always... It always starts out small, you know? Stealing the master's seat and controlling the village folk. And now you see what it's turned into? A murder, that's what. Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hey, hold on. What, that stuff you were just talking about? That's the first I've heard of it. Oh, huh, really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with gossip while I'm busy saving people. You said something about stealing the master's seat? Yep. Right now, the master is this medium named Misty Fay, but the one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master? Do you know where Eni is? Uh, yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around the, that garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah, I've got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. So I hear the master has always been the eldest daughter. The eldest daughter? Turns out... That old bat is Misty Fay's older sister. Oh, they say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take Mia's powers lightly. Uh, well, anyway, somehow Granny lost their uh, Granny there lost her younger sister Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said all sort of things, too, like she's the oldest and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. Well, I had no idea. So what would have happened? Um, so what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been the Branch family, I reckon. Hmm. Hey, like, I haven't seen you in a while. Wait, wrong voice. <laughs> I think I have enough to finally unlock it. Oh, okay, there we go. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? Okay. It time. Uh, please tell me about the traffic accident, huh? Okay, yeah, 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 your traffic accident. I should have saved before this. Uh, okay. Okay. Me, 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 me. Can I prove? Yes. Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says Miss Eeny Miney holds interview about crash. Ah! You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? L like, wait. What now? That's not me. Huh? 
I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's not, she's totally not me. My name is Eeny Miney. It's pretty common. What in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name, Mimi Miney, is in here, too. Like, totally, wow, what a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting, like, goosebumps. You think I'm going to let you get away with that? So, like, now what? Like, do you have something to, that totally says I was hospitalized? Isn't this... Oh, there you go. This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. Huh? There was a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. A memento of your... A memento, a memento, as a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That creepy fake director... Uh, done with AC, my taking up. All right, Gilmore, enjoy your nap. Now, are you ready to tell me about the accident? Like, wait a sec. Okay, so, like, I was in an accident? Sure, but that's, like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? And that woman who died, who do you suppose they mean? Do you suppose that woman who died in that accident could be... Your sister? I believe it was your sister, Mimi. Mimi. Uh, you were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. Unlock success. Okay, good. Finally. That took so long. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was riding. Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. Cutscene. I was riding the passenger seat when I fell asleep. And then it happened. That time I grabbed for my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I, like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give Eni a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. <laughs> it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> um. L looks like something's up. S stop! Leave my mother alone! Ow! Hey, hold hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it's perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please let me go, too! No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... Aw, oh, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look, it's a real pistol! Oh my gosh. Detective, do not upset me further. Ah, sorry. Poor Gumshoe being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. Ow. Mother. Uh, Mother, this has never happened before. Pearls. Mr. Nick. I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, Phoenix. Say anything terrible at this. Mr. Nick, what about, what about Mystic Maya? 
She'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Stick Maya. She must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone, either. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by your side. Your stare is really piercing. Okay. So now... Uh, Mia, you kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now, I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. Memory serves, Mia had a few psyche locks of her own. Oh. Mia, I'm ready to unlock the last piece of information I need now. Sure, I welcome you to try. Come on, Phoenix, we don't have time to be looking at things like this. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait, save, hold on. Mia, yes? You know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean? Why do you th why do you think so? It's really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. <sighs> A battle of wits against Mia. Okay, so now Phoenix, you think I'm hiding information about someone from you, is that, isn't that right? Alright then, tell me who you think I'm protecting. Okay, so... She's not protecting... Okay, well, apparently. Who do you think I'm protecting? Morgan Fay, of course. Of course, there is no one else you would protect like this, Mia. Not even her sister? I'm confused. I'm on audio only. How goes the case? Have you done day one in court yet? Uh, yeah, we're we're on part three of the investigation. Um, we're I think we're closer to the end of this one. I think we have uh we only have like one more day in court, I believe. Well done, but. While the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Uh, which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion onto my aunt. My evidence is this black key. At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key. And yet somehow it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. There is only one person who could have done that while I was busy calling the police. The person taking care of Maya, Morgan. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? When did the key find its way into the incinerator? It could have happened long after the murder happened. Long after? Someone could have found the key somewhere and dumped it into the incinerator. With that, that prosecutor would use something this small to shred your case. You have something other than just the key to cast suspicion on Morgan. <sighs> um. This is the other piece of evidence that points to Morgan as the culprit. I also found this in the garden incinerator. 
It's the same material as Maya's costume, except with this splotch of blood. But this piece may not even be from Maya's costume. But this is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both the key and the piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was part of Maya's costume. But when Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes, but why? I don't know why. But there's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya, my aunt. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However, however, like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me. But I want to know if my aunt is the culprit. If my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? Maybe this clothing box? No? You are so close. There's no way my aunt could have done it herself. So thinking logically, if Morgan couldn't have done it herself, okay. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, she needed then... Eeny Miney. She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eeny Miney were in cahoots. Interesting. Unlock success. Good, because that was... <laughs> Real close. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person who would have to know a lot about Fey Manor and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. Send you a pick. Awesome. I will check it out. I will. I'll check it out. Uh, we can assume that Eeny Miney is involved somehow. But we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Eni. Mia doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm. Then there is only one possibility. Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um, because... Mother. She is the one who holds the key to this. Mother? Whose? Mine? Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Fay. Mia and Maya's mother. Why would she bring her up now? Now then. Looks like we've gathered everything we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. All right, Chief. We won't lose. To be continued. Oh, now I remember your first day in court already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's save. And... Okay, I think we're actually going to stop there. Because I, I know the last day is usually going to take a little bit. And I'm already starting to get a little sleepy. And so I don't think I want to <laughs> go through all of it. Yeah, we were... Yeah, because of all the, the whippings. All of the whippings that were happening. Let's go ahead and switch over here. Play some Muzak. Um... Play, play some music. There we go. Um, there's a new Chiltendo, and there's actually quite a few Zelda songs. Not this one. This is Dire Dire Docks. Um, but it looks like the next one is one, and they also have Song of Storms. I think those are the only two. No, there's three. There's The Lost Woods. I'm kind of excited. Um, I'll have to rewatch the vibe when I get home. <clears throat> he didn't miss too much. He didn't miss too much. It was mostly me going through the menus, trying to figure out where I went wrong. <laughs> I literally, it took me so long asking, um, I couldn't figure out how to like progress. And so then I, I had to just end up going through all of the evidences and profiles with each person because I was like, I don't, I don't see what I'm missing here. And then it turned out I had to look up the answer um, but what's funny is at the beginning of this, like one of the last times we played, 
I went through and asked. I sh I presented every person my my attorney's badge because I thought it was hilarious. And then today, I didn't because most of the time, everyone's like, "Cool, I this I don't know what you want me to say about this." So I I didn't even think about showing the doctor director person my badge because usually no one says anything about it. Um, but that's what I needed to do. It's ironic that this is the only time that I didn't do it, but it ended up being a key piece of info. Oh well. Oh well. So yeah, you didn't really miss much. <laughs> it was me just kind of going on and trying to. Um, Yep. <laughs> Trying to figure out where to go. So it was just going to each location. Going through every piece of evidence. Anyway, so next time we'll we'll be able to finish the case, it sounds like. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to have all of my evidence together. And we'll be able to do so in a in a, an efficient manner. <laughs> um, anyway... Um, so that's going to be today's stream. Um, trying to think. Uh, we'll, this week we'll be back with um, Psychonauts. Um, and then uh, Friday will be the Jet Wave. And that's when we are going to be um, uh, Oh, this is a nice little nice little start to the song with the recorder <laughs> or something. Maybe it's a flute or something. Um, uh, what's I going to say? Oh, uh, this next Friday will be the Jet Wave, um, and we will be drawing the winner for the uh, Animal Crossing DLC giveaway. So, winners. Plural. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you guys for, for hanging out with us and, and chilling. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, we'll be back with Psychonauts and, uh, who's the guest will be announced this week. We'll be announced this week. We'll have, uh, we'll have a thing set up. Um, anyway, uh, I'll let you guys know, but, uh, anyway, that's what we've got for today. Um, hopefully I can get a hold of some Amiibo cards. I'll let you guys know if I see it go, if I see them restock anywhere, I'll let you guys know. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. We're going to end here. But, uh, and I, we're no raid today, um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, and I will see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye!